Good morning, everyone. I'm going to make this video today to show you how I set up my total gym. I have the XLS. I got this on OfferUp. Right now, you can find them on OfferUp or Craigslist, probably for less than $200. Um, one of my favorite pieces of equipment, I'm going to show you how small it is. So literally right now, this is it right here. Super compact. You can throw this under your bed if you want or in the closet. I have my Pilates squat stand on. This helps to keep it upright. And I literally just slide it underneath the couch so it's out of the way when I'm not using it. So I'm going to set it up right now so you can see how that goes. Literally, I have... This bottom part right here, I can slide the bottom part out. Right, this slides all the way down. Once it's flat like this, I'm going to lift up the center piece all the way up. Then it locks into place and then you can literally choose the level that you want. For difficulty today, I'm gonna to put it on a level three. So I'll have it right in the middle. On this one, there's six levels that you can have. All right. You're gonna notice right here that I have a pulley system. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna work this. This pulley system is gonna go right underneath and it's gonna clip on. You can use this machine without using the pulley. So perfect, so now it's set up. So I'll give you an example. I'm gonna go through a quick full body training so you can see how this is done. Hopefully you guys can see everything. I'll try to pull this forward so you can see. So I'm gonna start off with legs because legs are gonna be the biggest body part, right? I'm gonna lay down. Another tip you could do is not connect that so that it doesn't make noise, but I'm gonna do 10 reps with legs. So laying down, putting my feet up. Up and down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now what I'm going to do is take off the piece, I want you to see the difference. So if you live in a place where you can't make a lot of noise in the morning time, having a machine like this is perfect. So now it's just the glide board. So what I'm gonna do is lay down on the glide board, grab onto these two parts, and literally I'm just gonna do pull-ups. I can even go to the side. Perfect. So that was for back. Now we're gonna connect this piece. I have two handles. So I can grab the handles. I have these pulleys that also rotate, which is nice. I can do exercises one arm at a time or both at the same time, as you're gonna see. Make sure my carabiners are straight. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Just sit on the bench sit a little bit higher. I'm gonna keep my hands over this. And literally, I'm gonna go into my chest press. Perfect. I'm going to keep holding on to them. I'm going to turn around and go into shoulders. I'm going to do rear flies. What I like to do is I keep my hands here, place my hands down on the board, go down to my knees. You can also sit down on your board as well. And I'm going to go up doing rear flies. Ten. 
One exercise that I forgot to do, I'm gonna throw in right now, would be back when doing a full body exercise, or routine rather. I would do legs, back, chest, shoulders, triceps, biceps, abs. So right now I'm gonna go into back. So if you do this on your own, make sure to do this as your second exercise, and then do chest and shoulders. You'll see I'm doing this. You can raise your arms to come up higher. You can crisscross your arms as well if you want to do more across your body. You can also change the angle at which your body is doing it so you can have yourself a little bit lower if you want to feel it in a different way. This is all using your own body weight. I'll do three more. Two, last one, three. Now, laying down on top of the board, keeping my arms on my sides. Just gonna do tricep extensions, 10. Do some biceps, still facing the same direction. Put my knees on the board, keep my arms down, squeezing my biceps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now what I'm gonna do is actually lay down so I can do pullovers with an added crunch. Again, laying down. And then believe it or not, this is tiring, especially if you do it back to back. That's why I have the resistance set for solo. Going down, up and crunch. Down, up and crunch. So that was a quick circuit using the Total Gym. Um, you can get this on Total Gym's website. It's totalgymdirect.com. I follow, of course, Rosalie and Chuck Norris and also Sliding Bench Trainer and Skylar the King, or Skylar King Total Gym. The one that I have, it's called the XLS, the reason why I got it. As you can see, I have this piece of wood on the XLS, I can actually put the piece of wood through this. So when doing exercises, you can hold on to this. You can tie bands around here or you can add actual weights. I plan to get the two weight bars with the clips for the front and the back. The XLS has places to put it on both. I weigh about 250 pounds. This machine can take 400, so I can add another 150 on. But so far, I love it. I've been doing this. I haven't been lifting weights as much but even getting this as an investment, you can literally get this, use this as your warm up, and then go into your workout or learn online different ways to use this, um, doing advanced workouts as well. With heavier weights, you can use it for flexibility, cardio, pretty much everything. So the last thing I'm gonna do, let's say you're done with your workout. So this is what I do. I'll lower the machine down to the bottom, pull the pin out, so that I can lower this part all the way down. This locks in place. I lift up from the bottom. And then this is where you would store it in your closet or under the bed, in the corner, or in my case, up and out of the way. 